Hello, everybody. My name is Dave Cormier. I'm from the Office of Open Learning at the University of Windsor. And today we're going to talk about how to do an effective breakout group. So this is something I've been working on for years and I have some success with it. Your mileage may vary, but I hope it's helpful for you, too. So we're going to talk a little bit about preparing that breakout group, getting students ready, giving them the language they need, getting them started in the process and then do the breakout group. I've got some students here from the uh, Office of Open Learning's co-op program who are going to help us out and then go through each step of the process and hopefully show you how you might be able to do this too. So we've already sort of introduced ourselves and said where we're from. I think that first comment in the chat room is a really important one. Get students sort of realizing that they have to be awake and also lets you know that they're actually there, which is helpful. So we're going to do a little sort of fake sample presentation. So the sample slides, this is the way I would normally teach it. I start out with a slide like this. It's a write-on slide, so I ask students, hey students, will you guys come in and tell me what does success look for, like for you when you're in a class? What is, what is the feeling of success? And I say, okay, you see the T in the top of the screen? Go and click on the T, come down. You'll be able to write directly on this slide and let me know what success looks like for you. Engagement, passing the class is successful. Fun lectures is, is how you see success in a classroom. Those are all good. Playing into my strong skills, that's interesting. Um, you feel successful when you leave, connecting with a prof, getting those grades. Yeah, passing, that's good too. So already students are starting to give me a sense of where they're at. I get a sense of what they're thinking. And uh, also they realize they need to be part of this classroom. They're, we're activating that process, right? We're activating that active learning process. So then I do a little mini lecture and talk about the content. This might take, you know, five to seven minutes. Uh, talk about stuff, give some personal examples, and just broadly speaking here, what I'm trying to do is provide the language for the breakout room. So hopefully they've already done a reading coming into today. Uh, some of them may have done it and some of them may ha haven't, but this actually sets up what they're gonna be able to talk about when they get to that breakout room. So introduction that has them do some active work, a little bit of context setting and language setting, and then we move on to the breakout rooms. Before we break out, it's super important that you actually set out what a breakout room is, what your expectations are. So tell them, you know, introduce yourself when you get in there, turn on your camera if you're comfortable, choose a discussion leader, and I want you guys to be able to go and write on the slides. And this is a separate slide deck that I've prepared in advance that I'm gonna to share to the students. And then each group in the breakout group goes in and writes on their slides. So when they're keeping notes inside the room, when they're talking to each other, they keep those notes and then we get to present them back here. I find it a really effective place. So just tell them that they're supposed to collaborate. Tell them that, you know, there's no right answer to this. There's no trick. I'm just looking for your honest opinion. Setting out those standards are going to have a huge impact on how engaged your students are going to be. So uh, this is the student work slide. So I set this up in advance. I would show them this and say, OK, so this is what I want you to do. And when you're in your group one, there's a well-structured classroom work, ill-structured classroom work. That's the content from the course we're doing. And I want you guys to put in your answers in terms of how you feel about this in the chat room. So I grab the link, go back to the room. I go, hey students, uh, we're gonna break out into our breakout rooms first. What I'd like you to do first is to click on this link. It will bring you to a slide and you guys can go in there and inside your group, keep your notes on the slide and we'll use that to report back after. So I send the slide out. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Send that out for that. And then we'll go ahead and send them to the breakout groups. So I'm just gonna create uh, two simple groups. Students get sent out. And the beauty of this and where this really works is as you can see the students going to their groups is I can watch their participation in the slides while they're working on it. Right, so I can tell whether or not the students are moving into the right groups. I can tell, so right now I've got three showing in one group and three showing in the other. And now my students are prepared. You wouldn't normally get the content this quickly. Um, but I can watch them actually answer the questions. I can see the progress of their conversation, right? I can see that they're getting the point. And I'm also getting the content that I need for whenever we come back out of the breakout group so that I know maybe where the conversation needs to go next, right? So students are populating this in their groups right now. I give them 10, 15 minutes, depending on how the day is going. And then 
I would uh, maybe put an announcement in the chat room, tell everybody, uh, to everyone, um, breakout room will be closing in 30 seconds. Send that note out, and then after that, of course, we'll just end that breakout group, bring all the students back. So the beauty of this is that from here, sorry folks, uh, oh, great job with your conversations, nice to have you back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and share my window, my Chrome tab actually, where I'm now able to share this slide back into my room, right? So now I'm sharing their work back in the room. So if you look in the, in the room, it looks like this. So now if I call on a student and I say, hey, somebody from group one, you wanna come in and tell me about uh, the stuff you said, they can come in and present back from the slides. So overall, what this is, is a really simple process to allow students to go out to a breakout group, keep track of what they're talking about, and then come back and report effectively back inside the room. It gives them that sense that we're paying attention. It also allows us to see the prog prog progress in those breakout groups while they're actually happening. And then from here, I get to decide how I want to handle it. Now, I firmly believe that anytime you get somebody to break out, you should have some kind of feedback process. But I could do the feedback myself. If um, time is tight in the classroom, I could say, hey, look, I'm looking at group one and I saw this interesting thing. And I'm looking at group two and I saw this interesting thing. Or if you want to really dig in, you can get the groups to come in one at a time and present straight off their slides. So uh, this is how I do it. And I hope you guys uh, find this useful and I hope you guys have a great term teaching. Take care of yourselves.